original PlayStation came the technology required for the very first cutscenes. No game actualized this potential better than Final Fantasy VII. With the plot so emotional it nearly cuts itself, Final Fantasy VII earned a place as the first video game to bring grown men to tears. Now we've got a spin-off. Here's Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. A dirge is a somber song expressing sorrow or grief. Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus is a plotting game that causes me sorrow and grief. Set three years after Final Fantasy VII, the RPG that was emo before emo was emo, this action spin-off is primarily an exercise in the unnecessary. I'm so sorry. Uh-uh. You can't apologize until we've recounted your crimes. Dirge of Cerberus is pretty much Devil May Cry gone retarded. <laughs> Vincent Valentine will be your poor man's Dante for this trip through the nine circles of what the f*** are you facing that way? Turn around, you idiot gaming hell. For ten years, I lived in hell far deeper. What, you've been playing Final Fantasy VII that long? How appropriate is that? Never mind that the aiming is sketchy. Vincent moves like a Galapagos tortoise on Quaaludes, and the camera seems to be a blood relation of the cool pics I dropped in the toilet last year and is here to wreak digital vengeance. Dirge of Cerberus is so totally in love with its own storyline, it won't even let you play. Behold, mighty chaos. Fourth tier background character says what? You have to watch a cutscene roughly every 15 seconds. Kill three guys. Time to stop playing for a bit. Thank you. Kill four more, put the controller down again. In the middle of action sequences, the game will cut away to some random little scene, just in case you were worried about these insipid characters for some reason. Eh, to be fair, that's pretty good for a one-armed scientist with no depth perception. You can't even make it through a boss fight without a damn cinematic rearing its non-interactive head. No wonder the game doesn't play well. Why spend time refining something the player is hardly ever going to see? At the very least, Vincent is about ten times more badass in the cutscenes than he is in the actual game. Why can't he do that when I control him? My favorite part? The scenes where Chatty McDon't Care and the rest of the cardboard cutouts babble and Vincent is completely forgotten for minutes on end. There was potential for a good action game here. Vincent is a cool character for a Final Fantasy side quest, and Devil May Cry has proven that a guy in a red outfit with a gun can kick substantial ass. The gun customization is worth exploring, and it's actually fun to see some of the old Final Fantasy stuff in 3D. <laughs> that was a close one! Ah, never was good at fighting! Why does he have a Scottish brogue? But unless you feel compelled to experience everything Final Fantasy VII related, you can safely give Dirge of Cerberus a pass. I want absolutely no part of it. Sorry, Vincent, there's just not much meat on this dog's bone. I'm the one who should apologize. No argument here. A two. <laughs> Out of five. Oh, Vincent, you're such a sweet, sad, genetically engineered super soldier.